Ha de Leo, neighborinos. Welcome to my channel. My name is Louisiana Jones. You probably know me from Instagram. You probably never heard of me, but that doesn't matter. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today, I'm going to kick you off with my series, Rip and Tear Unboxings. And today, we will be unboxing the... <clears throat> Transformer Siege War for Cybertron Hound figure. Let's kick it up, shall we? Hound is one of my favorite Transformer characters of all time, honestly. He's a very, very interesting character, and he's a very fun one, I shall say. Yeah. Like, he's like a grizzled old veteran of Cybertron. You know, Cybertronian War. It's been going on for millions of years. <clears throat> And yet, he somehow is very positive when he gets there. He's like, this planet's beautiful, you know? Like, in the G1 cartoon, in his first uh, episode, he's like, you know, Spike, this reminds me of Cybertron before the Great War. And he goes on a little bit and explains that Cybertron was once a peaceful land, kind of like Earth. And, oh no, oh no, uh, I dropped a weapon, oh no. Right. Ooh, that looks nice. His missile launcher. Very, very nice weapon. And anyways, and he goes on about how Cybertron used to be very beautiful and he longs for the day of the return of the Golden Age. And yeah, he's very interesting like that. And then the Michael Bay movies happened and he became a military guy. Like, really, he became like an expendable, like, you know, those Sylvester Stallone movies. A little ammo clip right there. That looks nice. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. I gotta get a new camera. I want my career on here to be successful. But, uh, yeah. You know, he, he's a really cool character. I like Hound. Very underrated. He should be in uh, more stuff. Either more like his G1 counterpart or a mix of the Michael Bay one. Or, you know, whatever. I will watch him either way. Alright. Here we go. Got his little gun thing. I don't know what to call it, but he's got a gun. That looks cool. Looks cool. Uh, somehow the clip attaches to it. I don't know. Uh, mm. uh, 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 no. Uh, definitely not. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, yeah. Now he's got, like, one of them Tommy guns. Yeah, that looks cool. Now for the figure himself. Dear old Houndy Boy. Hound, hound, the ground pound. And, oh, my gosh, this guy's sturdy. Very sturdy, solid figure. Yeah, solid. Fantastic. The only thing rattling on him are his wheels. Looks great. But let's equip him, shall we? Let's uh, pop his missile on. His uh, missile launcher goes on his shoulder. The right shoulder. If you want to be extremely accurate to the comics and the cartoons, it was always the right shoulder. His gun, doesn't really matter which, which hand you can put it in. I always put them in the right hand, but it's only because I'm right-handed. And, oh... Oh, wow, wow. He... Dude, he looks awesome. My goodness. He's posable. He's got ankle pivot, waist swivel, wrist swivel, ball joint at the head. He's got every point of articulation you could probably think of, except an ab crunch, but my goodness, look at that. Look at that detail. Wow. He's got military detail. He's got a nice big Autobot logo right there. Some lights on the go. He's got some extra lights on the go. Oh, wow, he does. Yeah. Look at that. He's got lights for his Jeep mode. This is looking great. Yeah. Uh, for a quick comparison, the only other Transformer I have out and about right now, Hound and Bumblebee. Bumblebee from the Studio Series, uh, the newer Camaro version, and Hound from the uh, Siege War for Cybertron series. Not bad. He scales really well. He looks great, too. He's very sturdy and solid. He'd look great on my Autobot shelf, which is right there. Yeah, right there. That's the uh, Autobot shelf with uh, all my Autobots like uh, Ultra Magnus, Chromia, Springer, Impactor, Grimlock. I, I have Grimlock up there. The, it's really cool. 
And yeah, so Hound, you're gonna make a fine addition. <clears throat> All right, you prequel fans are gonna have a field day with this video. This will make a fine addition to my collection. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, yeah, Siege Hound. Um, so far right now, um, so far he's a 10 out of 10, honestly. I highly recommend him. If you guys can buy him somewhere, go for it. He's a really, really great figure. Very nice and solid. Kind of hefty, too. But that's just mine, probably. It's probably probably varies. But honestly, before he completely goes out of stock anywhere, like Walgreens, Target, Walmart, Amazon, Big Bad Toy Store, you should really get him. Really good figure, honestly. Highly recommend him. Very well done. I'm going to do a tour review on him next. So um, stick around for more unboxing videos, more toy reviews or anything, because I'm just getting started. And I love all of you subscribers and friends from instagram i love every last one of you bye bye and remember till all are one Mwah. love you all